In order to use my server um, to add on additional clients, I want to assign my server a static IP address. To do this, in the dashboard, I've selected local server on the left hand side, and I'll be going to the Ethernet properties where it says IPv4 address assigned by DHCP IPv6 enabled. If you click on that, an Ethernet icon will pop up. Right click and scroll down to properties. And then from this window, you want to go to Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Select properties again, and a new window will pop up. In this section, you'll be highlighting using use the following IP address. And for the IP address, you want to give it something memorable as it will be used on a lot of machines that you'll be adding on. So for this purpose, I will be using 10.0.2.100 as it's simple and easy to remember. To get the subnet mask, I just click here and it automatically assigns your subnet mask and calculates it for you. For the default gateway, by default, this is usually your router address and it's the first IP address in the range. So for my one, it will be 10.0.2.1. The preferred DNS server will also be the same as your IP address. So it will be 10.0.2.100. And the alternate DNS server IP address that I'll be allocating will be 8.8.8.8, .8 which is the DNS server for Google. It's always good to have a backup one there. Select OK and close. Close all your windows and then go into Command Prompt and type in IP config. And you'll see the details have been updated in this section here. The IPv4 address is now 10.0.2100 and the default gateway is 10.0.2.1. Close this window and you can restart your machine to take effect.